Manyaleti is a very special park. It's probably one of the most scenic and beautiful places in South Africa. The significance of dehorning the rhinos in Manyaleti is because it's one of the most hard hit, dangerous places for rhinos to live. It's something that doesn't occur that often where you find non-profit organizations working with a government park and you know being able to assist in whichever way as an organization to make sure that those rhinos, the, the, the ones that do remain, are safe and are dehorned is an absolute privilege. Obviously operation like this, it's a big team effort. We had three vets, two on the ground, uh, one with each recovery vehicle and then also a vet in the air. Reserve managers in the fixed wing doing the spotting. Our ground team just consisted of a lot of hands always working with rhino. They're heavy animals, you know, bulls can weigh up to two tons, so you always need people to help uh, position and maneuver the animal. The dewarning team and then a dedicated person on sampling. We have to do various samples on the animals and then also a dedicated scrub that just probably the most important job of everyone, but just documenting all the information. There's many tools obviously in the toolbox to stop poaching. The reserve does have a jacked up anti-poaching unit, but the guys are just under way too much strain. It's financial strain, it's manpower strain. So we're coming in here over the next couple of days just to try and take off a bit of that strain by removing these horns off of these rhino. We do know that from previous experience, it definitely does divert poaching activity. So we're looking into all the methods that we can possibly put in place on a reserve like this to try and eliminate the poaching. There's so many little moving parts in a project like this. And from a non-profit organization point of view, we have the ability to apply funds to ensure that this doesn't become a burden to the reserve itself. And that's exactly what we did. Something like conservation or what, whichever project you might feel passionate about, I think it gives you a sense of belonging to something bigger than yourself and I think that apathy is not a, a good excuse because you've got some skill that we don't have here. Is if, if everyone can just contribute one thing, we'll have collectively quite a bit of impact. If I find another person in the dark with a candle or a light, we might shine a bit more light on something and that I think creates the ripple effect that we all need.